Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and this is my daughter Hannah. And today we're gonna share with you a hutch makeover and I'm also gonna take you thrifting to see if I can find any new pieces for the hutch. So keep watching if you wanna see how this hutch turned out. So I had actually been looking for a hutch for quite a while and I definitely wanted to get one secondhand. I never did find one, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't because I inherited one from my grandfather and although his hutch wasn't quite my style, and if we're being honest, it was kind of ugly, but I wanted to take on the challenge to see if I could make it work with what I have in my home. So right now I am in Goodwill and I'm looking for some pieces to add into the hutch. I have some pieces that I have thrifted that may work, but I definitely want to add some more pieces. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I definitely wanted to style my hutch with a combination of decor items, maybe some books and some glassware. Speaking of glassware, all of the glasses that I have are all kind of mix and match and random. So I definitely wanted to look to see if I could find a matching set. I came across this box of wine glasses and I thought they were a pretty good deal. I did think they were a little plain and wouldn't add enough contrast in the hutch. So I did leave them behind. So unfortunately, I did not find anything on this thrifting trip that I really loved and that I really wanted to add to my hutch, but I will definitely be on the hunt in the future. So now I'm going to show you what the hutch looked like before. So this is the top part of the hutch. It does come apart from the bottom. As you can see, I did take the glass out of the doors. So here is what the bottom part of the hutch looks like. I did paint both of the pieces separately. So I kind of went back and forth on what color to paint the hutch and I decided to go with a classic white color. I used the Kills chalk paint and I bought this at Walmart for about $20. I also removed all of the original brass hardware. I decided that all new hardware would definitely update the hutch. So I went to Home Depot and I bought these pieces here. I did take all of the glass panels out of the door, mainly because there was a gold detail that was painted on two of the panels that I really, really wanted to remove. So how I did this was I took an X-Acto knife, I sprayed down the glass with water, I held it at a 45 degree angle and it came right off. There were no scratches and you can't even tell it was there. So I was definitely happy to remove this because it was one of the things I really did not like about the hutch. So now my daughter and lovely assistant Hannah is going to show you guys what it looks like now. Here is a reminder of what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like now. If you remember, I used to have a ladder shelf right in between these two windows. It was very thin and I think this piece really fills up the space better and I can't wait to start styling it with all of my decor pieces. Here is a close up of what it looks like. I'm always amazed at what white paint can do to anything. I think it looks so fresh and modern now, especially with all of that gold detail off of the glass. I did do a little bit of distressing around the edges so some of the dark could show through. 
Here is a close-up of the knobs that I chose. They're just a dark color to contrast against the white. Here is an overview of my living and dining area. I think it blends in very well with all of my decor. If you have any ideas on how I should style this hutch, please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear any ideas and thoughts that you guys have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next.